Sup guys, Juggalo here. As you guys know, excuse me, I have 4.3 Jelly Bean on my Kindle Fire. And uh, basically what I did was I went to the XDA forums. And then you're going to go to the device you have. I have the uh, Amazon Kindle Fire HD 8.9 inch. And you have to do uh, this update uh, bootloader or putting Twerp onto your specific device. You put something on that isn't meant for your device, well, you're kind of SOL and uh, you might have to do a uh, image reflash or a like boot and recovery image reflash on your Kindle Fire and hopefully someone was nice enough to develop a program for that. That's happened to me a couple times. I actually have it installed because uh, I did something wrong when I was flashing the TWRP or TWRP and my second bootloader and what would happen it would have a red screen it would be Kindle Fire then red screen so something I didn't do an error on my part corrupted something and it didn't boot up all the way so when you're doing this kind of stuff make sure um, you are paying attention to what you're doing and everything like that I'll put a link up of what I did onto the um, as far as putting twerp and doing the boot recovery showing what guide I used to, to do it successfully when you do this you're doing this on your own risk so you can't blame me or the person who developed the guide saying well you made me screw up my Kindle Fire HD no 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 that's all on you you void your warranty as soon as you do this. It is specifically all on you. Flat out. Okay. I can't show you how to do it, unfortunately, on what I did to my Kindle Fire HD because I already did it and I don't want to go through the hassle again. But I can show you <coughs> excuse me, how I was able to install the um Android Jelly Bean 4.3 onto my Kindle Fire HD. I don't know if you're going to be able to see everything, but I will try to, you know, point out the best I can on here. This is a highly reflective screen, unfortunately, so it reflects a lot of light, as you can tell. So, okay. Now for you guys, let's say you already got your boot image done. You got your boot, uh, your torp recovery or boot recovery. You have all that, you know, it's all good to go. Okay, what you're going to do is, first off, go to the XDA forums and download which version of Android Jelly Bean you want. There's 4.2.2 out there, as well as 4.3. Okay. So, also depending on which version of Android you have 4.2.2 or 4.3 you're gonna to have to get the Google App Store application that coincides with the operating system you are using so make sure you download those two things okay now I'm gonna show you like how to do it but not actually do it just because I don't want to set it up and blah 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 so once you have you know the twerp successful you know, you have your boot, your second bootloader that's successful and everything like that. What you're going to do is you're going to hit the power button. This is for the Kindle Fire 8.9 inch uh, HD. I'm sure it might be the same for the 7 inch, but it might be different as far as what programs you put on the 7 inch versus the 8.9 just because things are a little different between each device from my understanding. <laughs> okay so you're gonna hit the power button and then once you hit the power button you're gonna hold the power up or I should say volume up button so you're holding this down I hold it down until it goes to the screen but I probably don't have to but I'm doing it anyway so here we go this is how you know you got team win on it and uh, all you're really gonna do is first if you have everything installed the way you want to on here you're going to go to wipe and then from there 
you'll clear it off if you have the stock Amazon system or operating system make sure you do a factory reset if you don't certain things won't install the way you want it so you're gonna go here swipe factory reset if you are coming from your Amazon or stock Amazon deal after you do that you're gonna go back and then you're gonna click install okay and then from your install you'll be able to see your uh, downloads and then from there you could select that and then um, make sure uh, if if it doesn't unzip for you the reason why is probably the zip file signature verification was checked at the top right here so make sure to uncheck it if it doesn't have a signature verification on it so that was my fault there what I did so what you do is you take this operating system you swipe it uncheck this if you're using the 4.3 let it uh, load boot up then from there uh, shut it down boot it up again then you go back and then you would download the G apps application right here and that is for the 4.3 again uncheck the zip file signature verification for my purposes what I did right there swipe uh, swipe the flash and you're good to go so you make sure when you are coming from stock operating system of Amazon and you have Torp in your second bootloader make sure you hit wipe you do reset factory settings from there go to install make sure the signature verification at the top is unchecked let it install the operating system 4.3 from there reboot boot up into your operating system after you're done with that shut it down or hit reboot whatever you want to do reboot load your Android application uh, Play Store or whatever you want to call it 4.2 or 4.3 Google Apps once you're done with that you're good to go so alright now let me see got a swipe to unlock it and um, we go to reboot and reboot system so I'm gonna reboot this so uh, just keep in mind guys like <laughs> excuse me I'm sick but um you know everything isn't gonna be perfect it's still technically it's still in beta when it boots up and everything you know when you install it it's gonna look like this the Sinogen mod um, I know they're working they had 10.1 but I'm thinking they're working on the 10.2 version as well um, I think that's what's on here but this is what it looks like for the Kindle Fire HD 8.9 inch um, you have super user access um, before you even do you know the um, you know update anything or do anything to your Kindle Fire you're gonna have to get a super user access for it so I will put again that link that I use the guide for to do it um, I will try to help you but again just follow the guide that's all I can really recommend if you have any questions that I can't answer you can you know sign up on the XDA forums um, Hashcode's a great guy, as well as other developers, but Hashcode is, I think I'm pronouncing it right, I'm sorry if I'm not, but he's the one that's developing this stuff for, you know, the Kindle Fire, the Kindle Fire HD 8.9 inches, as well as other ones too. So he's doing this as a, I'm thinking as a hobby or whatever, but I really appreciate him doing it. So, again, you have to make sure you have super user access. Um, once you do everything like that, you should maintain super user access. I'm hoping that's the case because with me, it seems like it is uh, working because if I have a set CPU and um, this right here is um, allowing me to do uh, like access on this thing, so I'm hitting allow, allow but um, 
basically this right here this is a program that allows me to raise or lower the uh, CPU speed on it I haven't personally messed with it because I'm just you know exploring I'm gonna do a little bit more research before I do that but um, here is the operating system itself um, certain things I got rid of but um, you can I moved all the set CPU camera gallery and all this stuff in one to uh, general area because they had it over here for some reason so I am condensing all the applications to be in one area specifically so for example I'll take Netflix and I'll move it down to here and I'll take the Amazon mp3 store or Amazon mp3 and I'll put it there so pretty spiffy um, if you go here you know continuously it's not gonna do much but this is where you can put all the apps and everything okay what's nice about Android 4.3 now is you can add multiple users I'm not going to show that but you can do that if you want you can add multiple users to one device which is nice and from there I think you'll be able to control uh, what the user the second user can and cannot do on that device also I've noticed that they put a password code or lock onto the app store so if kids start to buy stuff you could your parents you parents out there could put a code on it so the kids can't randomly buy crap like on the uh, Apple store I've heard three thousand five thousand dollar charges so yeah that's pretty bad okay now um if you hit the center right above the home let me try to do this right here basically looks like a whole bunch of dots select that this goes to all your applications and everything which is really nice and then if you keep going it uh, goes all the way back to like it used to have it where it stopped but from there it goes from your apps and then right to your widgets and it'll keep on going until you're done with your widgets kind of deal which is pretty cool and everything like that um, you know standard like basically this is what the Nexus 7 is gonna have it might have some other programs or tweak programs on here since it is from the XDA forms uh, for one you get super user access um, I have no idea if you get a polo on here but I guess it's some playback device um, you get DSP manager which is new to me so if this is not on the Nexus 7 4.3 jelly bean uh, let me know but some some of the stuff is pretty cool like you have headset speaker you have a Bluetooth um, DSP manager seems like uh, you can adjust everything you want for like equalizer and I'm not sure this is even on the Nexus 7 to be completely honest with you <laughs> so I'm going back so you have headset speaker Bluetooth um, you have your Google Plus you have messenger downloads your clock you know your web browser like very you know similar stuff but again some of the stuff on here might be a little different compared to the Nexus 7 just because you know people are working on it and you might have a couple of little extra features on here compared to the the stock Nexus 7 uh, stuff so that being said um, I'm trying to think what else is going on uh, see you have photo bucket that yeah I know photo bucket uh, gallery and focal and a couple other programs come stock like but then you have to download like Netflix and set CPU but for most part this uh this is definitely a big improvement compared to the stock Amazon uh, operating system and I hope everybody would get what I'm saying just because it's sl kinda slow kinda sluggish uh, I personally hate the format of the Amazon uh, operating system but this right here if I can uh, pick it up very nice very fluid and how it moves and everything like that very responsive go home you know and then go back again right there just very nice it loads up the programs 
you know, pretty fast, you know, and everything like that. So, again, this is a great thing to do to improve your uh, device if you want to have a faster, um, basically a faster OS, a better user experience, and more fluidity in your experience and everything like that. Again, guys, sorry if I messed up on my words. I may not sound right. I am also sick, so I apologize about that. I'll have all of the links that I used personally in case you guys may need it um, in the link description below. And again, thank you guys for subscribing, and definitely thank you XDA Forms for coming out with great content that I could put on my device and make it better. Comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button. You guys have a great day now. Bye.